time. Not by Raymond. Oh well. Singlish. The unofficial language spoken in Singapore, containing words from English, Malay, Mandarin, dialects, Tamil, and many languages. The language that unites all Singaporeans. Sir Stamford Raffles and William Farquhar landed on its shores and founded modern Singapore as a trading port in 1819. Singlish is a language that came out of contact between different languages. Prior to independence, the lingua franca of the people was actually Bazaar Malay. And the term Bazaar Malay literally refers to Malay of the market. And then we had the migrants coming in from China. So they would come with Hokkien, Cantonese, Teochew. And then we had the British who were here and the British were speaking clearly British English. And then of course the Indian migrants and they came and they also came with their different Indian languages. So just imagine that you now have a place where different people with different language backgrounds had to come and work together. Given the fact that Singapore is this hub of commerce for the region, so different people pass through Singapore. There are different communities different language groups and when you need to talk to someone from a different language ethnic background you have to find a middle way boleh ah boleh 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 eh boleh belly eh tak boleh tak boleh tak boleh tak boleh so we'd like to think about Singlish as coming out of a language ecology, almost like four kids going into the playground with different buckets of bricks. Kid number one has like a full bucket of red bricks. Kid number two has half a bucket of yellow bricks. Kid number three has a third bucket full of bricks. And then poor fourth kid only has one single brick. So when you're going to see this playground and then in this sandbox, you have all these different bricks coming together. So they're going to be mixed. And even at one glance, you can already see that the kid who brought in a full bucket of red bricks is going to be the dominant player because he's got lots and lots of red bricks. And this is how Singlish pretty much came about, where you have different languages of different power and dominance coming together, which clearly the more powerful language will have more input into Singlish. And we can see that in Singlish, say, earlier on, where the influence from Hokkien and Malay were far stronger. And now as Singlish goes through the years, you have more English influence. And that's all a matter of different languages coming together at different times with different levels of power. Pasa, pasa, kawin, kawing, tolong, tolong. Why speak good Singlish? So that we can communicate to our fellow Singaporeans more better. Would you like a cup of tea? Why, that would be lovely. Te. Steady. Speak good Singlish. I speak Singlish to my friends. Anyone that I feel comfortable with, I will speak Singlish. I'm originally from India. I came here when I was one. I didn't really learn Singlish very early on in my life. Uh, it was more of maybe in primary school. In school, I'll speak like maybe Singlish, but then I'll go home and I'll speak in an Indian accent. At home, I speak mostly Mandarin and Hokkien. It's a mix. I do speak in Singlish at home. It expresses exactly what I want to say in like fewer words. Singlish is just very comforting. You're just not as serious as opposed to, let's say, speaking British RP English. That must have cost a bomb! Mm -hmm. 
expensive, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, why didn't you invite me? Bonjour. After Singapore became independent in 1965, English became the main language of communication. If we don't have English as one of the most important languages today, we would have been stuck with Bazaar Malay. So Singlish wouldn't really have come about. When the language itself gets used widely and gets owned by general Singaporeans, uh, they also will assert a certain life. So the language starts to change. And so you have this tool, which is the language that is received and the language that has taken root in Singapore. There can be bad Singlish. We can say in Singlish, You go where? Hey, yeah, I go there la. Oh. But you can't say, Where go you? Huh? Because that is bad English, but that's also bad Singlish. Hey, what eat? What? Eat what? Oh, eat chicken rice oh. oh. Singlish is something that anyone can speak, you know, something that sort of connects us all. You only communicate in Singlish because I'm in Singapore. Singlish, everyone owns it. Everything gets communicated very efficiently. We have a language on our own, on this tiny little red dot. Singlish is not bad English. It has its own grammar and syntax. It's important to know the difference and speak good Singlish. Thank you for watching. Speak good Singlish. Ensure Singaporeans recognize the importance of speaking Singlish. Know the difference between English and Singlish. Encourage Singaporeans to speak good Singlish. Up next. Learn more Singlish words.